Hi all, today I am showing a small exercise for how to use callout and how to create a rooms um, uh, in uh, using using callout, how we can segregate the rooms using callout. This is a small exercise, uh, those who are working in electrical field. So I will I'll show you uh, one by one, step by step, how to using that one. So watch my video fully. So you will be getting more idea about uh, using callouts and everything. For, for example, this is a floor plan. Okay, so we need to create some rooms over here. Um, uh, for, for, for example, this is an electrical room and some other mechanical rooms and some other rooms also there. So how we can segregate these things, I will show you using callout. So we, we can go to the view first in the drop panel uh, in, the, in the system tab. So you can get this uh, views from here. So go to view and using callout, you can get it a callout from here. And there will be two options. One is the rectangle and the other one is a sketch. And I'm using uh, rectangle first. So and, um, just uncheck this one. So uh, for example, I'm using the first is this, this uh, mechanical room just to drag like this. And you will be get like this one, uh, one, 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 one call, uh, rectangle like that. And you just need to select this one and go to view. So it was in the uh, it was in the uh, light uh, for power plan. So I I, I have created one uh, view template for this one. So for example, this is service service room I created for the view template, and the discipline is on the service service room. So the, the that will come up over here in the service room. So I'm click OK. So that was created over here, and I just need to rename this one like uh, mechanical room mechanical room. So I'm just giving a just make room. So uh, that room is created, and you can give the uh, scale from here, like uh, whatever whichever scale you need using that you can use it. And uh, for example, I'm using 50, so you can give a 50, and you can give the tag for this one. Go to annotate and room tag, and you can choose the room uh, tags for this one. The same exercise for this. Um, some other rooms are here uh, for example electrical room so how we can uh, do this room separately go to this uh, view and uh, take the call out from here and i'm using sketch command or uh, normally we are using the like rectangle if you need to sketch uh, you can sketch it also just go here and i'm just uh, using rectangle and uh, drag uh, draw like this and just finish from here so that room also will uh, created over here and go to view you can get get the views from here and you just change the view template from here i'm uh, created view template for the service room click ok so that will come up over here and just give the name like uh, electrical room electrical room electrical room okay so like that you can create it and if you need to give a tag you just need to give the tag uh, room tag uh, like this uh, like that we can create it and if you need to change the scale of this one you can change it so once you created we can place some equipments over here so how we can fix the equipments i will show you so if you want to um, if you want to move the text outside you just need to click on this one and if you if you move like this it will not show like like that it was giving error so how we can fix this one so i will show you just stretch out this one a little bit up like this side and uh, i'm just uh, stretching this one also the crop area just i need to just uh, uh, make it a little big and select this one and give a leader line from here and you can move the uh, this one like this and if you want to edit this um, uh, leader type so select this one and edit type uh, go to this one uh, leader arrowhead so you can choose over whichever things you need uh, you can use it that one so you can uh, select like this or, or some other things you you do if you need so you can just uh, give that one filter dot so you can get it like this so so if you want to move this one little bit like this okay you can arrange it the room name like that so this is the way we are using uh, the callouts and i will create another one also uh, for example, uh, this office area I need uh, or this kitchen area I need to segregate it. So go to view again and just uh, go to this uh, call out and uh, using rectangle and just to make a rectangle like that. So you can create the easily the call outs and go to view. And uh, if you if you change the view template from here, service room. Okay. 
so then that will that will also create it and in in that we we can arrange some in electrical room we can arrange some panel boards and everything so go to system tab and you will be get uh, electrical equipments from here and you can fix the d for example this is a db so you can easily fix the dbs like this uh, like that you can fix the dbs so how many dbs you require so you can uh, fix it that one and we can give the some name also this dbs uh, like uh, here in the panel name we can give this one uh, power db1 because for example pdb1 just give a pdb1 and this one uh, we can say like uh, pdb2 power db2 whatever you need you need this one you can give it and this one is a lighting db for example ldb1 and uh, this one is a uh, uh, me mechanical power so m uh, mdb so uh, no 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 not like that m, m mechanical db so we can say like mechanical db and this one is a power db so pdb3 so like that you can give the name uh, as per your uh, schedules okay power db4 and you can give the name uh, tag for this one tg for tag and you can give the tag like this and you can fix it in the uh, good presentation way so this is power db4 so just you need to give the name like this so mechanical db for example this is ldb1 this is ld power db2 like that you can give the names and everything and if you need to give some dimensions so easily you can make the uh, this uh, dimensions also so you can choose the dimensions like this choose the dimensions and you can fix the dimensions for the each rooms segregate the rooms and give the dimensions for each the area each area and uh, this one also you can give from here uh, just tab it tab it this one just to give the dimensions like this and wherever you need the dimensions, so you can uh, give the dimensions uh, also and beautifully you can arrange the rooms and everything if you want to draw some cable tray so you can uh, draw the cable trays also uh, for example if you want to draw some cable tray to this panel so you can draw the cable tray like this and you can drop that cable tray easily to the panel so you just need to give this one fine and just uh, draw the cable tray like uh, it, the draw cable tray is coming from here and it is going uh, through the panel so you can adjust the levels like this uh, adjust the level like from here so just uh, give a level like uh, 3450 and you can drop the cable tray easily like uh, like dropping to the panel so easily you can drop the cable tray like this to the panel if you look in the 3d view how it's look so go to here and select the from this uh, 3d box and you can off the uh, scope boxes from here scope boxes you can off it from here so clearly you can see the cable trays are running through the panel and uh, it was uh, dropping down to the uh, panel like that and just uh, section box i think go off just click on that one so you can stretch the that one and you can see the room how it's arranged and everything this is a simple way to arrange this uh, 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 using call out and uh, if you need to uh, draw some branches for this cable tray so you can uh, do it that one create similar and with another uh, size so you can draw the cable tray like this so each panel it, it will cover to each panel so you can uh, draw the cable tray like this for example like that you can arrange the cable tray and if you want to give us some branches for the cable tray so easily you can give the branches for cable tray for each panel uh, for example we need to give some branches for this cable uh, uh, mid of this cable tray uh, mid of this panel so you can arrange it that one and it will feed to that uh, two dbs and the same things for here also you can arrange it select create similar and you can just uh, draw the branches like this maybe the space is not uh, uh, comfortable so that is what it was it was not showing so just to move this one little bit uh, right side and you can make a branch from here cs and just uh, change this one to 150 yeah it was the spacing is not uh, correct 
so that is what does not uh, taking uh, the branches so we will just move a little bit over here and uh, we can say this one also a little bit right side and we can say the uh, the create similar this one and make a cable tray like this so now the branches are connected and you can uh, dropping the cable uh, cable to these panels and we can filter also this one so for example i am just selecting this cable trace all so it's select tab it and select like this and you can give some service type like a cable tray cable tray zero one and just uh, go to the uh, filter tab from here in the service um, template go to the filter and just need to create one thing uh, from here and i'm just uh, typing like a cable tray zero one and i'm just uh, selecting that one and uh, select some categories from here then then the cable tray and cable tray fittings and from here i'm choosing service type and uh, just for equals and here i'm just giving cable tray zero one click ok and add that one this one select this cable tray zero one same method you can use it and here you can give the color for this cable tray lines and uh, <coughs> patterns we can give it for example i am choosing this pattern and i am giving the color like uh, uh, red and click ok click ok and click ok and click ok so what will happen it will uh, it will come up over here all the colors and everything and uh, this is the way we you can create the uh, room uh, room through the call outs and you can give the uh, uh, cable tray um, tag size and everything so like that you can arrange the cable tray sizes and everything and you can easily uh, arrange these things like this and if you can give the arrow type also from here so for example i'm choosing 15 so you can get the arrow types and everything and if you need to make a, a little bit like a, a more, more details for the cable tray tags, you can give it also. For example, this one cable tray and you just uh, need to select this one. And you can you can give the tag like this uh, for, 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 for the each cable trays and everything. So like this, you can make it and you can make it as a free also free and also. So wherever you need, you can uh, you can fix it that one so just select this one and fix like this and uh, you can uh, adjust adjust the things like uh, wherever you need you can adjust it also select this one and move it also this one and you can adjust uh, some other uh, categories also you can adjust it and uh, i'm just free and then just to move this one like this wherever you need you can move it that one also and this is the way we are you can using this uh, 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 like a uh, call out so another rooms if you need some other another rooms also if for example this is security room something like that you can use same method go to uh, view and take a call out rectangle call out and create like this and go to view and uh, go to view go to view and just give the uh, give the give this uh, template for this one i created one template for this one so just apply that one so it will come up over here and if you need to give some uh, data points over here go to system and uh, select from here uh, use uh, data point from uh, data from here and you just need to select the data whichever uh, data points you required so you can give it that one for example this is a computer table for example if there then there need two data points so you can uh, give the data points like that simply you can arrange the things and everything and uh, and if you um, if you if if you created once you created this one so you can create the sheet also easily go to new sheet select this one and you just need to drag these things okay so for example i am just uh, call out one i am just giving you can give, rename this one as per your schedules so which which are the things you can um, uh, which are the rooms for example this is kitchen okay so just uh, go to here right click and rename it kitchen kitchen and uh, this is uh, for example this is a security room so just to give a security security room so that will come up over here easily you can adjust the uh, this uh, 
sheets and everything like uh, dragging uh, dragging to the sheet so you, you can arrange the all the rooms and everything if you want to make it some sections also here so you can add the sections also here for example the sections i can add over here like simply you can make it this these things like that and 3d view if you need to add the 3d view so you can add the 3d view also here so you can see the 3d view also here so like that we are using this uh, uh, making this uh, through this uh, call outs easily making the view room separately you can arrange the rooms and everything so this is a simple exercise those who are working in the rivet electrical or mechanical field so they, that will be very useful so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's related to autocad and rivet if you got uh, some ideas please contact me for the training and other purpose thanks for watching thank you